Hey there, my name is Kevin Butler, and I'm a certified professional ergonomist that works for Steelcase, and this is the Steelcase EMEA chair. The EMEA chair offers amazing comfort by providing a seat height, a seat pan depth, a back lock and unlock, a tension knob, an adjustable lumbar, and four dimensional armrests. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna walk through each of these adjustments, not just how to adjust it, but where you should keep it to optimize your comfort and why that matters so much. So, where do we begin? Let's start with seat height. The seat height lever is right here. It's labeled, it says seat height on it. Now to raise up the seat height, I kind of come out of the chair a little bit, I pull the lever and the chair pops up. If I want the chair to be a little bit lower, I stay seated, pull on that same lever and the chair will drop. And I've got about five inches of range with this particular chair. Now, where should I put the chair? I need my thighs to be approximately parallel to the ground. I need my feet to drop directly below the knee or a little bit out in front. I need my feet to be solidly placed on something, whether that's the floor or whether that is a footrest. That is seat height. Next, we're gonna to go to seat pan depth. The seat pan depth, this is widely a preference thing. A lot of people like a little bit of coverage, some people like full coverage. The only rule I have for seat pan depth is make certain that the front edge of the seat pan does not come too close or into contact with the back of the knee. That could induce things like contact stress, circulation issues. So we need to have at least two or three fingers width between the front of the seat pan and the back of the knee. If you measure that and find that you don't have that, come over here to this lever on the left side, and if I pop out of the chair just a bit, you'll see that I have amazing range for my seat pan depth. So find the right depth, find the right preference for you, and then kind of make sure that you're back in the chair before you move on to the back support, okay? Now, this chair has a paddle that can lock or unlock the chair recoil. So this chair is now unlocked or fully open, okay? Now, before you think, oh man, I don't like to sit all the way back, I like to sit more upright, that's fine. I strongly recommend that you keep the chair unlocked, but you change the tension of the chair, which is this large knob towards the front, to hit what we call the sweet spot. Now, what is the sweet spot? The sweet spot is where I can sit fully upright, I can recline just a little bit, I can go all the way back, come back up halfway, anywhere I want, stop, and be properly supported. So when I came back up, I felt that there was a little bit of give there, it was a little bit easy. So I, there's not enough tension in this chair for me. So I need to increase the tension or turn the knob to the right or clockwise. So I'm gonna give it three turns clockwise and try again and right there, I can stop anywhere in this area, in this angle, and I can be properly supported, even almost all the way upright. So this is for me, my sweet spot, and this chair is gonna be incredibly comfortable from this day forward. Now, there's an adjustable lumbar right here. So you can't see the lumbar, it's hidden behind here, behind the cushioning, but you have several inches of adjustment with the EMEA chair. You can hear it kind of click into place as it goes up or down. Now, where do you want this to be? You want the adjustable lumbar to be at what we call the apex of the lumbar spine, the small of your back. Where the lumbar curve is, where it sticks out the most, that's where we want that lumbar, additional lumbar bolster to be. So, if I back in the chair and I lean back, ooh, it's almost perfect. It's a little bit high. So I'm gonna just bring it down a notch. That's it. It's that easy. Now, let's move on to the armrests. The armrest move, there's a button right here. The armrest move up and down, about four inches a piece, okay? They all, they both move inwards. They both twist two directions, and each armrest goes forward and backward as well. The only rule I have for armrests is that you don't use the armrest as a crutch. So whether it's texting, a phone call, reading, 
keying and mousing, whatever it is, if you like to use the armrest for a particular task, for support, for offloading a shoulder muscle, whatever it may be, just please do not use the armrest as a crutch. And when I say crutch, I mean too much pressure on the elbow onto the armrest. If you do want to, let's say, use it for typing, just use it as something that's there to support you while you are in that optimal keying position. So that's it. That's the EMEA chair. I hope that these few minutes were helpful in getting to know this chair and how to truly optimize this chair's comfort. You can do it. Good luck adjusting and please stay safe.